Yeah, Kermit Weeks here, Fantasy of Flight. And uh, energies are changing around here, and I always like to follow the energies. And, uh, you know, Ken's been working on the second Jenny, which we need like a hole in the head. But because he had done a lot of work on the previous one and got flying, we don't even have any room to put it together right now. Um, uh, basically, you know, he went ahead with his knowledge and he was, you know, doing some things on the second Jenny that I've got. So, uh, but at some point, one of the things that uh, I've been thinking about is, you know, I need to be focusing on my future. My past is my past. Uh, and I'm just following the energies, which is what I do in life. And basically, he had started uh, to do the Spirit of St. Louis again. If you remember, we had it over in Paris for the 100th anniversary of Le Bourget. Got some damage coming home. Eventually, we finally sorted out and got an insurance claim. And uh, anyway, so at some point, even though we really don't have a place to put it together, get it flying, uh, the Spirit of St. Louis is going to be one of my attraction elements in my future dream for Fantasy of Flight. So I got to thinking... You know, Andy had done uh, a J5 for it because it's got the wrong engine on it. Ken had come up with a more original instrument panel. And I'm kind of thinking, you know, now that the Jenny's kind of winding down, maybe I'm going to get with Ken, talk to him about, uh, you know, doing a little bit more work for the Spirit of St. Louis. But at the same time, uh, we're going to be building some cockpits for different uh, attraction element events that I want to deliver some audio experiences uh, with. So anyway, so let me let me see what Ken's up to. Um, and uh, maybe I can meet him down there. We can talk about it. Hey, uh, hey, listen, uh, I don't know where you're at, but I'm just wondering, you know, I got some ideas about moving forward on, uh, you know, the future of fantasy of flight. And, you know, at some point we're going to need to be building some cockpits. And, you know, we had talked about, you know, you had suggested maybe working on the Spirit of St. Louis a while back. Then we got sidetracked with the Jennies. But um, maybe I could meet you down by the Spirit of St. Louis and we kind of just like uh, throw some spaghetti on the wall. Okay, super. I'll, I'll I'll be down there in about five minutes. Okay. Great. Bye. All right. Let's go check it out. Hey, Ken. Hey, Kermit. Yeah, so, yeah, so let's just go look at this thing here. Um, you know, we haven't really looked at it since it got back. I know we need to do some uh, fixing up that got damaged. Yeah, so let's go. But this is what I'm thinking. I mean, we basically, at some point, the Spirit of St. Louis is going to be one of our audio experiences, okay? So we're going to have to build cockpits. So, um, you know, part of what's going to have to happen is, is how we're going to get people in and out. I'm kind of thinking of something that we probably need a section that's about probably at least from there. How far forward it goes, I don't know how much of a wing we make, but I think by maybe getting in the cockpit and sitting there, you know, we'll get a little bit better feel for that. So okay, you're a little, you know, we can pull the door. Yeah. That's the only way you can get in. Yeah, okay. So you want to do that? I'll pull the door and you can hop in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can. <laughs> All right, it was hard enough to get in there in the first place, and now you expect me to get in there now? Uh, let's Here's the cushion. No, let's Okay, we're heading across the Atlantic. Okay. 
Okay, so, um, was this the panel that I used to fly with? No, this is the panel that I put in for going to Paris. Right, because this thing looks really pretty good. So yeah. at some point we're going to have to duplicate these things. And maybe in this first thing we can just use this, okay? But basically what I want to do is I want to create, oh my god, this is going to be, this is going to be tough. But at some point, when somebody sits in here, I want them to feel like I'm in the spirit of St. Louis because we're going to deliver an audio experience. And, the, you know, what we see out here uh, is not going to be, uh, you know, a lot because what we're going to do is we're going to focus the lighting on just the cockpit. So I don't really want people looking out here or whatever. We can play with that, but there's probably going to be a little bit of a wing stuff that goes out there or something. We don't need struts and landing gear because that's all going to be dark up there. Um, I've got all the drawings, so that's not going to be a problem to lay this out. Oh, cool. Okay, super. So, so basically, I mean, I think the first thing we need to do is is just kind of come up with a basic frame type of deal. So okay. is that is that something you know we can we can prototype something? Okay. Yeah. Something up. All right, cool. Well, then, uh, you know, and we can think about where we can potentially find somebody. We didn't, don't need to collect all the original instruments, which were hard enough as it was, but somewhere down the road, we're going to have to figure out faces because, I mean, we can do this for the prototype here because at some point, what I want to do is I want to take it over to the museum light when we get it done, just do a little bit of feedback, beta testing, mm -hmm. and stuff as to where Fantasy of Flight's headed. Cool. Let's uh, let's do that. So start out with the basic frame, and okay. we'll go from there. All right. Awesome. Want to sit on that? Yeah. No. So, I don't think Lindbergh ever did this. But. Hey, Kermit. Hey, so what do you got? Well, I think this is what we plan to do. Okay, you just want it this segment. Yeah, okay. pretty much just the, the, the so, cockpit. Uh, yeah, this is a top view. Obviously, the biggest problem we're going to have is, is access to it. So if we just, you know, build this much of the airplane, we'll be able to, you know, bring the visitor e either in from the end, yeah. you know, into the cockpit. Yeah. But this is the section we're looking at, and okay. so we'll just lay it out, and we'll just yeah. uh, weld up the the tubes. And like you said, I think I, I think a stub wing is going to look good, and we just we'll build that much mm -hmm. of a wing on the airplane, so that when they're sitting in there and they're looking out the windows, they're seeing the bottoms of the wing. Yeah, so. you know, like I said, what you know, the existing industry is about external spectacularism. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to create something that's internal spectacularism. So. This out here is going to be, in my perception, I, I got that pipe and drape, so we're going to go ahead and this is all going to be like in a dark deal, and we'll dimly light the cockpit to get people to focus on what we want them to focus on, which is basically within. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting when I was doing the beta testing over there with the pipe and drape, I did it with the Curtis Pusher and the PO2. Without having done that, I never would have known half the people do these experiences with their eyes closed and have to do it with mm -hmm. their eyes open. So if that's the case, that might give us an opportunity to, you know, use del different delivery methods to get people to open their eyes if they have them closed and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I've got some ideas, but in this case, I think people are going to go in and they're going to look there and they're going to go, how the hell did he see out of this thing? That's the first thing they're going to think of. Thing, yes. And they're going to take that home. And so then, you know, maybe in, 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 based on the timing, you know, it's kind of like, how much do we let them explore the cockpit before we actually start the audio experience, which is something that I just thought of, you know? So, mm -hmm. so this is going to be a little bit of a beta test. It might be too big. If it's too small, you know, we can add to it. We can play with it, but it's, it's, a, it's planting a stake in the ground. Yeah. I think we make sure we put the window in the top so yep. they can look up. Yep. And yep. we might do a star field or something yep. for night yep. or something. So, yeah. So, um... 
Okay, so w what do you think you're going to do just starting forward? I mean, basically fuselage, we lay things out kind of like making a rib, a wing rib. Yeah, well, we'll do it over here on a table. Okay. And uh, we'll get it laid out so that we can put the tubes down and start tacking it together. Okay. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Cool. All right. Hey, so where are we at? What's up? Well, we got this laid out now, um, both sides of the airplane and okay. the top and bottom, all in the same thing. Oh, really? And so we'll just be cutting tubes and fitting them in here. And once we get all the tubes all cut and fit, we'll come in and tack it together. Uh, once we get the sides done, we'll build both sides, stand them vertical in this other set of guides oh i see so you've got like the top and bottom yeah okay so you've yeah. got both sides first all laid out ready and then go. you're going to set them up and then fill in the bottom too fill okay in the bottom. okay cool yep all right yep sounds so, like a plan yep. we should have that in a couple of days okay all right sounds good got so far. Awesome! Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Super. Yeah, pretty quick. Huh. So this is upside down, I guess. I, it yeah, is. It is. Bell. And we'll flip it here in a minute because we need to take a look at that door huh. business. But yeah, we got the panel uh, in where it would sit. Yep. And the, you know, the rudder pedals are there in. So your feet... The, the so throttle. they actually hang. I forgot. It's been so, so long time they do. since I've flown. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, your airplane's got brakes in it too, which are this, right. this does not. So a little bit different. We got the throttle huh. lever put in. So yeah. Yeah. So I can see where. So basically, this would have been the side deal, mm -hmm. and then now you've got laid out to where it's set up to where the you've got it in the top. So you say this is, needs to be flipped. Yeah. Now? It's upside down right now. Yeah. You so want to do that? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, see how we're going to get sure you stick it that way? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Is that about right? Yeah. Oh, so it matches the top. Is that the it's still got to come, I think it's got to come this way a little bit. Just more. a little bit. There you go. I'll be darn. There we go. Perfect. Let me put a couple clamps on here. It needs, yeah. Needs to come up. Oh. There you go. All right. All right, didn't quite fit right there, so. But anyway, it's good enough for government work. There we go. All right. Yeah, so, okay, that looks a little more familiar. Now, here's our door. And you can see it's uh, a little small. Yeah, so that goes in and out that way. But the bottom line is we'll put the door in. You know, Dave's working on coming up with a couple of different track ideas. And so what we'll do is we'll have probably like a floor. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can come up more than likely what we'll do is we'll put a slot in it so it just slides in around the control stick i think the question mark you know we're going to have about 30 inches going across here yeah we're going to leave that bottom tube out so right, that if you have right. a seat here yeah. it will roll yeah. up the guy yeah. should clear his head yeah across here and gap. and maybe we'll have this much of a floorboard yeah. in here so yeah. as he comes in he have to put his feet up so he can get his feet up on the rudder pedals and of course the stick is going to be in and the stick is going to be connected to the base it can't be connected to right, the base. right 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 so, yeah, that so, makes we'll, sense. so we'll have that and you know kind of what i'm thinking it's almost like just to make it kind of simple what we may end up doing is we'll hook the control stick up to where people 
can kind of maybe feel like maybe we just run some cables around some pulleys so it moves around. Oh, absolutely. So they kind of, it has the feel of being absolutely. We we have to have a return cable so it right. pulls it back. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Same thing with the control stick too. And the same thing yep. with the lever that uh, controls the stabilizer. Yep. You know, it needs to have a, a set of uh, pulleys running yeah. the cable all the way around okay. back to it so that it's got indents that that piece that's curved in the cockpit it's got indents so that you could move that right. and set it yeah. and so we'll 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 have that in there yeah as well. and you know it's kind of you know we'll we'll see that i mean i don't want to go we'll see because things like that technically could take people away from this experience so you know i the reality is the real airplane is going to be sitting outside the attraction element. Mm -hmm. So maybe one of the things that I want to do is I want to have something above and beyond. I don't want to just have people go through the gift shop and try and drain their pockets when they leave. I want to give something with each attraction element, they're going to get a reminder of the experience. So maybe, maybe the reminder of the experience is they sit in the real airplane, then they feel the real stuff yeah maybe possibly, possibly. of course they got to be able to get in now i haven't listened to your audio but is there is there engine sound yeah 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 but that's all that's all in the audio right yeah, yeah. Uh, okay yeah yeah all so because right. you know, i was going to say you could it could be rigged up so that the throttle as you increase the throttle no 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 no, the no, no 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 i'm not creating a simulator we're, okay. we're not in the simulator business okay. it's basically going to be in fact the reality is you know, to keep it simple at this point, um, let's just get everything in there and maybe initially what we do is we just put some bungees in there just to make it simple instead of adding pull. We'll, we'll, we'll play with it as we'll it goes it. in, okay? Yeah. Um, but I don't want to detract from the inner experience with, uh, you know, too many outer distractions. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. When it comes time to, to the plane, Wing rib here. Oh my god. The wing is going to sit on the airplane kind of like that. About there. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I mean, like I said, if it sticks out about this far, mm -hmm. uh, and the reality is, from the person's perception, if depending on how we set this up, I mean, I think in the first iteration, we can go ahead and do this because people are going to walk in and they're going to see it. Mm -hmm. But I'm almost thinking in the long run that basically what they're going to, what's going to happen is they're going to come in, it's going to be part of a pre-show or something, and basically a door is going to open up and it's just going to be a hole in the wall. And you're just going to sit on your seat and go into the hole. So this all becomes like a sound stage in here. So they wouldn't have to necessarily think the long one, but in the short one, what the hell, let's just go ahead and put a little wing on there. But the reality is maybe it doesn't need it to stick out as far as we need it. So right. anyway, whatever. Yeah. You know, and it kind of becomes a, you know, a beta test site. And somewhere down the line, this will go into the Fantasy of Flight Museum of how we made all this happen. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll get with Dave. I know he's working on some possible tracks. Yeah, uh, he's actually working on a seat over there right now. Okay, cool. All right. All right, good, man. Sounds good. Awesome job. Cool. Good. Hey, Kermit. Hey, what's happening? We're making progress here. Awesome. Cool. What, uh, yeah, so we got a little right side up and mm -hmm. kind of laid up. So what, uh, stringers and all that? So, so what have you been side. focusing on? Yep. Yeah, we got those put on, and uh, the stick assembly, Eric's over welding it right now, so it's all put together. Okay. And uh, we'll be getting that in, made some floorboards for it. There's a couple of tubes that have to be cut yet and fit, welded. Hmm. And, uh, and uh, so Dave, I understand, is working on the seat and some he's tracks. He's got the seat pretty much done. I was going to ask you in the meeting that we just had, um, do you want us to have that caned? Uh, yeah. I mean, however it was done before. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. Right. But if there's a way to make it, uh, 
You want it to look like the seat that's in your airplane. Yeah, I mean, okay. you, you know, let's come up with some options and find out some prices, you know. I mean, okay. we can. The, the only other option is to put a canvas. Yeah, I mean, if, it, if that's what it originally had, you know, let's, you know, let's uh, look I'll, at it. I'll look yeah, into okay, it. look into it and come up I'll with some costs and stuff. Yeah. yeah, he's got that seat just about done. He's now working on uh, the system for rolling right. the, the tracks and stuff. Yeah. Somebody How that's going to be. Back way. We're, we're going to need, we're, we'll be carrying this over to the welding shop soon and put into his fixture. Okay. So that then we can get an idea of height, you know, what it, what it's going to take to sit in the seat, come through without bumping your head. Right. On there and, and how you're going to. Cool. Actually come into the. Good. So, the yeah, okay. So anyway, so you kind of start out with look at the. Yeah, just like for looking wing at or whatever. How, how a wing is going to yeah. sit. And of course, I'll have to build the skylight as that's well. That's right. This whole area. And that's good. That's a bit involved. And it'll be good practice because your skylight is all busted in your airplane. Really? Okay. So right. I'm going to get to learn how to put that skylight together. Okay. Yeah, because so, I mean, you know, the, the goal is to, when the person is sitting in there, they want the experience of what it feels like in the airplane. Right. And you know, we'll darken the distance and whatever, you know, so the focus will be in here, but we want to try to make it as real as we can. So. Right. right, all right. Sure. Well, let's go down and see what Dave's up to. Okay. And uh, you know, I want to check out this seat thing that he's got. Cool. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Get that up there where it's supposed to go. Okay. And this is going to ride the track. This is going to ride on the track. Yeah. Okay, that's not exactly what I was thinking. What I was hoping that we were going to do is we were going to come up with two something here so you can't see this because that kind of detracts from the originality that we're trying to change what we're doing to maintain. So I thought we were looking for something like this. Okay, and it came down like this, and there was like some roller bearings or something that went. Well, like that. I looked for that, but uh, I can't find a size that's that's good for us. Huh? The barn door uh, doors rollers uh, they have, but they're not. Hmm. Yeah. Let but me... anyway, I mean, if I put this inside, then right. I got a problem with this. Right. So I mean, if it's like. And, and th th this just goes over top to keep it from tipping one way or the other. Right. That, that's the only purpose. That's yeah, but be. that can't. But that that has to be separate from this, which is like, I see what you're saying. This is this is going to be this, this is going to be the track laid up the side so that this right. chair rides in this track right here. Right. All this is for is to keep it from going forward or backwards when somebody's sitting in it. Hmm. Yeah, let me, let me just, let me just, uh, I mean, I, okay. Kermit, what's really going to work best is once we put this on the table and bring that fuselage over and actually physically set it in here. Right. Then we can take the seat and the wooden guy and, and start playing with it as to right. what kind I, of... Right. I would suggest let's do that, you know. I mean, I'm just not more than yeah, you'll, so have, you'll have a better idea of yeah, seeing yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Because what's critical here is that you don't bump your head when you yeah. come in. We have this thing is all going to have to is set up so that where the fuselage is, and we can raise or lower that so that wherever the seat is, when he comes in, he doesn't have to duck. Well, no, because it's a small hole he's coming through. Right, but the reality is it's not that much smaller than when they're sitting in the seat, really, you know? I mean, I, I, see, I, see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, All on. right. Anyway. It'll I'm, be I'm, better, to, it'll be easier to visualize once once the thing is in here. Yeah. Then, then we can play with the, the raising and lowering. We can put some wood under I mean, it. No matter what, we could get a trap like it's already made. It still would have to go on the outside to work. It couldn't go on the inside because it was 
Well, right. well maybe it could. Could you weld it, weld it straight to this? Yeah, it, it could. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, it could because I'm thinking yeah. that the, I'm thinking the wheels are going to be up there. The wheels are going to be down in here. Yeah, I mean, I, I see, I see we, how that would work. It's just not what I originally imagined. But l let me go look online. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Yeah, if you can't find anything, then then okay, then I agree where you're headed. Yeah, let's get it down here and let's really kind of look at yeah. it and sit in it and kind of look and get he a feel for it. He doesn't have to go to get it down there, right? No. 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 Yeah. We can just tack it together, you know, and bring it down. All right, cool. Sounds okay. like a plan. Cool. We actually got to bring it down.